What's going on ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are having a great day as usual. So for this video guys, I'm going to be reacting to another Transformers Prime video. And this episode is episode 21. But before we jump into the video guys, I'm just going to need you to hit the like button. It helps the channel and the video grow a lot. Enough talking, let's jump into the video. We'll have a little discussion after. Let's go. Previously on Transformers Prime. It will only respond to the power of a prime. Our sensors detected a second Iacon locator beacon. I'll go. Smokescreen chooses a vehicle mode with screaming double 38s on the doors, making him an easy target. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't more than concerned about Jack's safety. The Star Saber, a legendary weapon forged by Sola's prime. <laughs> we Decepticons now face our darkest hour. I am receiving a message. From who? Alpha Trion. Forgive me, Lord Megatron. While I do not question the wisdom of our tactical retreat, know that I am fully prepared to lead the troops in a counterattack against the Autobots. Counterattack? Perhaps you failed to notice Optimus Prime cleave an entire mountain with a single blow. With the Star Saber in his possession, my enemy can obliterate us all with a wave of his hand. I must find a way to tip the balance of power back in our favor. Do we not also possess a powerful relic of the ancients? Indeed, the Forge of Solus Prime. But it is useless, except in the hand of a Prime. <laughs> but I might wield that power if I were to control such a hand. Optimus, what is Alpha Trion saying? I wish that I could meet you under better circumstances, Optimus Prime. But I fear that Iacon will not withstand the next Decepticon assault. So you speak to me from across the ages. If you are listening to this message, then I take solace that you now possess the Star Saber. I am certain that you have deduced how these Cybertronian relics and Decepticon weapons came to be found on such a remote world. Indeed, I transported them there, not so much to keep them far from Megatron's hands, but to ensure that they reach yours. <laughs> Yo! As you may have long suspected, the Covenant of Primus records events of the future as well as the past. My imperfect understanding of its runes affords me a shadowy glimpse of what is to come. The Covenant's pages foretold that you, Optimus Prime, would journey to the small but significant planet and there, engage in a crucial chapter in the war against the Decepticons. I know neither the nature of the battle, nor its outcome. I only hope that these relics of the Ancients will aid the Autobots in your time of need. Of utmost importance, in a few moments, I will launch the last of the relics, the most significant and powerful of them all. Easy, Optimus. So, did Alpha try and ask about me? <laughs> what was the message? It is paramount that we recover the final four Iacon relics. 
The Omega Keys. Keys? To what? To the regeneration of our home planet. What? Yo! <laughs> Earth's moon is a barren rock, is it not? Indeed, Dreadwing. But the moon is not our destination. A space bridge. Our very own. Relocated here after the Autobots discovered its whereabouts on Earth. The dark side of the moon is hidden from prying human eyes. And more importantly, well out of the Autobots' reach. Come, Dreadwing! We shall travel to the one place in the galaxy which may provide us with a means of defeating Optimus Prime. <laughs> Pack your gear. We're going back to Cybertron. <laughs> well, believe it now, Bumblebee. Civilization at last. But I just got here. Remember oil baths? First thing I'm gonna do planetside is soak for an entire solar cycle. <laughs> I can't wait to tell Miko! And Jack. Uh, Optimus, keys open doors. Can they really revive an entire planet? While I am unfamiliar with the lore of these Omega Keys, Alpha Trion knew many secrets. And the ancients possessed technology that has long been lost to what we consider modern science. The devastation to our homeworld is worse than I remember. Curse the Autobots to the pit! Whatever their function, this much is certain. We cannot restore Cybertron without all four Omega Keys in our possession. Which means we can't afford to lose a single one to Megatron. Four sets of coordinates from Alpha Trion remain encrypted. It is logical to conclude that each corresponds to the location of one of the Omega Keys. I must not waver until I decode them all. The future of our home world depends on it. A tomb. One known to contain the remains of primes. Please, tell me you're not adverse to desecration. It is just that being in such a place evokes powerful emotions, considering the fate of my twin. Then you should delight in our purpose here. To exact our revenge of Skyquake and of all our fallen brethren. <laughs> You shall require a more practical means of carrying such a blade. I feel funny saying this, but I'm not sure I want to go back. Who knew we'd ever get so used to our new home? Yeah, I don't think I'd ever want to leave Miko. We've made friends here. Family. We could always text them. Besides, I've been fighting for so long, I don't know if I can do anything else. You can go back into construction. The power of the Ancients may breathe life back into Cybertron's core, but our war-ravaged cities will surely require rebuilding. I wouldn't make any travel plans just yet. We still have to locate these Omega Keys and secure them before the cons do. You know, like, that'll be a problem. Optimus has a Star Saber now. Megatron's end is in sight. Yes, I can do it, Lord Megatron. If you're certain that's what you really want. Like nothing I've ever desired before, Doctor. I shall induce stasis. No! I wish to bear witness as you attach my new appendage. Coming up. Autobots, 
I have decoded the first set of the final four coordinates. Divide into teams in the event that I'm able to decode another before the first team returns. I'm on team one. Who's with me? I'll go. After you, sir. Ma'am. Commander? This should be interesting. First one's here. No locator beacon. Which means the relic's still buried. Right about... there. The Forge of Solus Prime possesses the ability to create anything from raw material. And in this case, said raw material would be a big hunk of dark energon. Uh, RC, I... I owe you an apology. I never meant to endanger Jack. Humans squish easily. I get that now. This isn't just about Jack. Team Prime can't afford any casualties, human or bot. I've already lost two seasoned partners. I don't need a rookie on my scorecard. Not gonna happen. Elite Guardsman's honor. Wait, you lost two partners? You have decoded the next set of Iacon coordinates. Excellent work, Soundwave. <laughs> nice of the humans to pile all these rocks on top of our relic, huh? Pretty much spells things out, doesn't it? Come on, help me move this. The ancient humans must have thought the Omega Key was a gift from the gods. And in a sense, they weren't wrong. The Relic. Now. Two against one. We can take them. Ratchet, ground bridge, now! treasure did Ayakan send us this time? I would slice you in two right now. But I need you to deliver a message. Tell Optimus Prime that if he wants this relic, he must come and claim it himself. In 
then Smokescreen was just... gone. Like he turned to dust. Poor kid. RCE, do not blame yourself. It could just as easily have been you. Well, I say we go claim a piece of Megatron's miserable metal eye. No. We have already lost another one of our own today. I will not risk more lives. Given what R.C. witnessed, it stands to reason that Megatron now possesses might to equal the Star Saber. Which means only I have a chance of recovering the Omega Key. The fate of Cybertron rests upon its retrieval. Whether Megatron knows it or not. <laughs> Claim your prize, Optimus, if you can. Oh, let's go. 1v1. By let's the Allspark go. Megatron, what have you done? This? I find it affords me certain advantages, such as the use of the Forge of Sola's Pride. My first creation, fashioned from the very blood of Unicron. I call it the Dark Star Saber. Slayer of Primes, if you will. of your own twisted delusions. <laughs> Star Saber has tasted one spot tonight. It still thirsts for that of a prime. as I envision, with your head beside my new trophy. Oh, you mean this? Finders keepers. Smokescreen, fall back! <laughs> Run, Optimus. 
Optimus, run! Those trinkets from my Akan will not save you. Not when I now possess the power to tear this world apart! Smokescreen? And Omega Key number one. But how? I mean, I saw you. I, uh, decided to borrow the phase shifter. Again? Good thing, too. The wave from the blast hit me like a wrecking ball. <laughs> the impact must have activated the shifter. I don't know how long I was unconscious, but when I made my way back outside, Optimus and Megatron were deep in an epic throwdown. I waited for the right moment to make my move. You're learning. So can I keep it? I mean, it is really working out for me. Fine, fine. Yes! Signature weapon! You got yours. Optimus lost his. The balance of power shifted again. While he may have wielded the power of the Ancients for only one day, Optimus does not require it to be the mightiest of warriors. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys. Wow. What an episode. Crazy episode, guys. So let's jump right into it. First of all, Megatron, I'm not sure how he was able to figure things out, how he got that other arm, but he figured it out. He was able to create a Dark Star Saber, so it's pretty much equal to Optimus's Star Saber. It even later on in the episode destroyed Optimus's Star Saber, so now the Decepticons have even the playing field with the Autobots because Optimus doesn't have the Star Saber anymore, but they have one of the Omega Keys, which is crucial to reinvigorating or making their planet alive again, making all of Cybertron come back to life. So they already have one of the keys. They only need the other three, which is crazy. And I guess the keys are scattered throughout Earth. This is the final, um, I guess, chase for these items, right? This is what everybody is fighting for. Those three Omega Keys that are remaining. Crazy stuff, guys. A lot of stuff that is just breaking the lore. Break, and in a good way, not in a bad way. Like, it's just adding more to the lore. It's adding more to the excitement. Things are going crazy right now, and it's just great to witness everything that's happening. I'm glad Smokescreen is not dead, because it would have just been like, a new Transformer, a new Autobot, and then right all of a sudden he just gets killed. So I'm happy he's still there, and I'm happy he's like an additional member to the Autobots, another member to fight against the Decepticons, and he has his own crazy personality, which makes him so distinct from all the other Autobots. So I love that about the show. They're still building um, the Autobots themselves, so that's great. But just a wild episode. I have no clue where this show is going. Cannot wait until next Saturday. So you guys, and I'm going to react to it. Just put it out there next Saturday. Two episodes again. Let's finish this season at least by the end of... Um, let's finish it by the end of February. We only got six more episodes. So by the end of February, we're going to be done season two, guys. Crazy stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video because it helps the channel and the video grow a lot. So, but I'm going to wrap this up, so take care of yourself. Stay safe because it is a crazy world and there are a lot of crazy people. But most importantly, guys, you already know by now. Peace.